coming and showing up today. Um, oh, no, okay, no. so our goal is pretty much have fun, um, make the games uh, fun and exciting and competitive for everyone. But please, 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 don't get frustrated. We're just all friends having fun on a Saturday morning, okay? Or well, after we chill out there, right? Um, <laughs> we're gonna have Rihanna do the go over the rules, okay? If you have any questions, please hold your question until the end. Um, Jesse is gonna cover the whole process of the whole tournament, okay? And Anya's gonna cover the the food and the supplies that we have. We have plenty, so please um, grab as much drinks as you can. We have some burgers and hot dogs also, okay? Rihanna. Before I start the rules, I just want to reiterate that we are all friends before competitors, and that after all of this is done, we're still going to be friends. So no matter what happens in the court, then please refrain from harassing another person, another rap, talking smack about somebody. Let's just keep it all friendly. So the first rule RJ has is no open hand receive on first ball, meaning service or uh, reception, hands. soft hands, no open hands on those. Unless it's a spike that's hard driven. Hard driven meaning the ball going down, um, the velocity, the speed, the impact of the ball. Then you, if you have no other way of receiving the ball but open hand, then that's considered um, a hard driven hit. I want to add up something on that. If the hit has been blocked and it, of course it stops the trajectory of the ball, then that becomes a soft hit. Okay, so you can't receive that as open hand. Um, no set overs. Um, Handsets that goes over the net to the other team is um, a point to, the, to that team. Um, no open hand tip. So anything that your hand can direct the ball to, um, that your hand is open, that's not allowed. It has to be a smack or a knuckle. No doubles. One hand and half rotation is okay. Yeah. And that's going to be uh, on the referee's discretion. Um, that throw can only attack on the imaginary 10 foot line. Um, we also decided that back row cannot switch to any, any position if they're in back row. So if you're the libero for your team, you can't move to the hitter spot on the top of the ball, you can't switch to center at any time. Wait, does that mean like between points you can't rotate even? Yeah, you, at any time in the game, the back row can't rotate. They have to stay back row. Are you meaning like... If the rotation is going on, then obviously the back row is going to move to the header spot. But you can't move in between points because in the middle of the point, you can Yes. Okay. Is everybody clear on that? Everybody's good? Yeah. If the captains don't agree on this, don't agree on dispute, and the referee didn't see the violation being argued, it will be a reserve for the sake of no arguments. No net touches. Um, do we allow hair? Um, yeah. If it's your real hair. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a weave, that's the last question. So ladies, I, we're, we're good on hair. <laughs> what number are you? Uh, okay, no interference of, of other players on their own court. If a player um, crossed over but it did not in interfere with the play, that's fine. Okay? But if a if the interference um, or if a play in, if a player interfered with the play, then the team lose a point and the other team gains that point. Okay, like for example, if it's really, um, Ali, give me an example on this. If a ball get blocked and then it's about to come down, uh, right, and then someone tries to go after the ball, I guess. But they cross this over and they get get in the way of the other team. Yeah, like they like yeah. Yeah. yeah, that would be yeah. interference. Yeah, no, be yeah. a clear interference. Okay. Um, the player can switch positions. Okay, like I said, in the exception of the back row, if you just serve, stay back row because I'm trying to avoid 
the confusion about whether or not the black ball who switches this uh, setting can block or attack an open, um, open receive ball. Okay, it's such a headache, so I'm trying to avoid that. And ref, you, whoever's refing the game, you really have to keep an eye on that just to make a mark on it. Uh, block touch will not be counted towards the, the three touches required to cross over the ball. Okay, so if you block the doesn't count, you can still touch the ball three times before you have to reach, uh, send it over. Um, attacking a serve will not be allowed. A player can hit over a serve uh, while the player remains on the ground, either with one hand or two hands. Okay, but the two hands has to be together. Um, and finally, no reach over, and it's gonna be up to the referees. Okay, so they're gonna have to pay attention to the balls and the plane where where it's at when he when he gets up hit over. All right? Any question on the rules? One, one question. Um, how about? Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I said. Oh, here's one confusion about that. Okay. When someone bump sets the ball and it's obviously about to go over the net, the attacker can still attack it while it's still on your on your side of the net or above the net. But once it crosses over the net, it's gonna be called a reach over. Uh, serve rotation, everyone has to rotate on that. Okay. Any other question? Will there be timeouts? Will there be timeouts? Uh, one timeout per team per game. That's it. Is anybody missing any players from their team? Is there a lot? Raise your hand if you're missing a player from your team captain. Okay, so everyone's decently. <laughs> you're missing Monica. You both are on the same team? You both it's are on the same team? I'm going to give you guys a little bit more time to warm up and stuff while we're waiting. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll You know, there is dual sign-outs. You should have... Uh, maybe we'll start at like 3.30 if that's okay with everyone to so warm up. What? Stand so just to... Yeah. So you guys, the way this is going to break down, in case I'm Santa, so for those of you guys who don't know me, if you have any questions, this schedule is going to be big on the board over here. If you have any questions about that, if you are refing the game, please, please, please don't just finish the game and not know where you're going to go. If you're refing the game, that is to you and your team to your discretion of who's going to ref that game and who's going to line it. I would suggest if it's the more experienced person on the team that can ref it and everyone else can line. Does that make sense? So you guys decide amongst the team who's going to ref. If you want to have a designated ref, that's great. The way that I made it, you guys, is all you have to do is sign your name on the, give me your name on the bottom and then who's lining it. And then the team, I've already assigned the team, so these sheets are in order. This is gonna be court one. This clipboard's gonna stay on that chair with your whistle and your pen. Once you're done scoring that game, if all we need you to do when you score it is either cross out the number as the score goes along. And I'll be dealing with them then. I'll explain about it. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, so for standings, there's gonna be three teams eliminated after the round robin. There's gonna be two different pools, pool A and pool B. Okay? If if there's a tie on the standings, let's say Alex team has uh, three wins, four losses, and my team has three wins and four losses, we're gonna go by uh, point differentials. Okay, so we're gonna be tracking on that. Please turn this in to him so we can keep track of point uh, differentials. So once you're done, whoever that ref is, just grab the top sheet and bring it to me over to the table before you report for your next game. We try to kind of spread it out as much as you can so that way you have time and gaps. And I gave your guys as captains a little schedule exactly what port you're going to be reporting to and then when you're lining or reference. Does that make sense? Everybody good on that? Yeah. All right. And then what else do we have to look down the track? Single game to 15 for round robin. And then when we get to the playoffs is 15. And to be determined on the championship, depending on the time. 21 or 25. And is there a switch? Uh, eight, uh, is it eight? Eight. 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 eight point switch. Yeah. Refs, please, please make note of that as well. Yeah, so I would take this time, you guys, we're going to start at 3.30 to give everybody else a chance to get here. But start talking about who's going to line and who's going to ref.